Um, just about 30 seconds ago, we saw the former president emerge from the motorcade. You see the picture there. Uh, give a quick wave uh, to supporters on the scene outside the courthouse and make his way in underneath that scaffolding. Uh, whereupon, we expect that the former president of the United States will be fingerprinted. He'll be photographed. He'll be treated in many ways like any other defendant in a criminal case, uh, except this is no ordinary criminal case. As you can tell by the motorcades and the barricades surrounding the courthouse today, there is an enormous amount of global attention in focused on lower Manhattan at the moment as we wait to see the unsealing now of the indictment against the president. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump is looking at 136 years in prison. That is no exaggeration. He's literally looking at 136 years in prison for the charges that he's being brought up on. Now, the article that I'll be reading from is from Reuters titled Trump pleads not guilty to 34 criminal charges in New York. I will leave the link to that article in the description below in case you would like to read it for yourself. So now let's get into the information. Donald Trump, the former U.S. president and the frontrunner for the 2024 Republican nomination, pleaded not guilty on Tuesday to 34 felony counts of falsifying business records after an investigation into hush money paid to a porn star. Wearing a dark blue suit and red tie, Trump, 76 years old, exhibited little emotion on his face when he waved to a crowd assembled outside of the courthouse after he was driven in a motorcade from his New York residence at Trump Tower. Trump sat with his hands folded as he entered his plea flanked by his lawyers. Not guilty, Trump said when asked how he pleaded. He is the first sitting or former U.S. president to face criminal charges. Taken together, the charges carry a maximum sentence of 136 years in prison under New York law. But an actual prison sentence, if he is convicted at a trial, would almost certainly be far less than that. So like I said, technically, he is facing 136 years. But I think we all know, even if he was found guilty, um, they're not going to uh, give him 136 years in prison. That would be crazy. While falsifying business records in New York on its own is a misdemeanor, punishable by no more than one year in prison, it is elevated to a felony punishable by up to four years in prison when done to advance or conceal another crime. Trump was indicted by a Manhattan grand jury last week in a case steaming from a 2016 hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels, though the specific charges had yet to be disclosed. Trump was fingerprinted, but no mugshot photo was taken, according to a Twitter post by New York Times reporter. Trump's lawyers had urged the judge to block any videography, photography, and radio coverage, arguing it would worsen an already almost circus-like atmosphere. Hundreds of Trump supporters at the park across the Manhattan courthouse cheered and blew whistles, outnumbering his detractors. The Trump critics held signs, including one of Trump dressed in a striped jail uniform behind bars and another that read, lock him up. The White House remained mum on the drama in New York. I think the American people should feel reassured that when there is an ongoing case like this one, that we're just not commenting, White House spokesperson Corinne Jean-Pierre told reporters. Any trial is at least more than a year away, legal experts said. Being indicted or even convicted does not legally prevent Trump from running for president. In a social media post, Trump said Manhattan Criminal Court was a very unfair venue and urged the case to be moved to the New York City borough of Staten Island, which regularly votes Republican. Trump will return to Florida and deliver remarks from his Mar-a-Lago resort at 8.15 p.m. on Tuesday, his office said. Do you think it's possible for Trump to actually receive a fair trial? Because I personally don't think it's possible for him to receive a fair trial, no matter which way you cut it. People either hate him or they love him. So if the trial is held in Manhattan, uh, he for sure is going to be found guilty. But if it gets moved to Staten Island, which is a borough that votes Republican, well, then he's going to for sure be found not guilty. There's almost no way for him to have a fair trial. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But in closing, I'll say this much. I believe that the overwhelming majority of those 34 charges are going to be dropped. 
And I can very easily see a scenario in which he's going to run for president. He's going to win because I just cannot fathom Biden winning a second term. That just seems crazy to me. I, I, I just don't see it. And with the exception of maybe Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, outside of him, I don't see anybody on the Democratic ticket that could come close to beating Donald Trump or even Ron DeSantis. I, I just don't see anybody on the Democratic ticket or on a possible Democratic ticket outside of Gavin Newsom. And to be honest, as of right now, I don't see him running for president, at least not in this election. So with that being said, I honestly can see a scenario in which the majority of the 34 charges will be dropped. Trump will run for president. He'll win. And during his presidency, he'll actually have to go to court and will be the first president in American history to face charges and appear in court while being a sitting president of the United States of America. American politics has turned into a complete circus, so it only makes sense that things would play out in that fashion. Now, I do have a couple of theories of how things would play out if Trump becomes president and has to stand trial on criminal charges, uh, but I'll reserve my tinfoil koofy theories for another video. So with all that being said, that does it for today's video. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. All social media links will be pinned in the comment section below. I also have a Telegram group now, so if you have Telegram, make sure to hit the link in the description box below as well as pin the comment section to join my Telegram group. And also, please make sure you text TD Hip Hop to number 33222. That's TD Hip Hop to number 33222. That way you'll get a text notification whenever I release a new video, but it also serves as an insurance plan for myself. So in case YouTube ever gives me the ax, I'll be able to send you a direct link to where you can find me next. And last but certainly not least, for those of you who have a love and a appreciation for the work that I put in on this channel, the number one way you can show your support is through Patreon. For only $3 a month, that will help put me in position to take TD Hip Hop Media off of YouTube. Remember, the goal is not to grow big on YouTube, but to grow independent of YouTube. And for those of you who have issues with joining Patreon, you can also hit the join button that's next to the subscribe button, and that way you can become an official channel member for as little as $3 a month as well. And lastly, if you haven't already, please make sure you join the emailing list. There is no way that I can go independent of YouTube if I cannot take the audience with me. And the link to that will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you for your time, and until the next video, peace.